move on to this this is a quick article courtesy of us weekly or not us magazine um us magazine us us i hate these fucking players on side and it says the following Kylie and Travis Scott split again after spending the holidays apart. <laughs> They'll always remain friends. Isn't it hilarious how the holidays do that to you, right? Have you ever been on a trip with somebody, especially a friend mostly, and you realize, oh, rah, you have some friends that are good to go holidays with, and you have some friends that are good to hang out with, you have some friends that are good to go to restaurants with, some friends you go out, oh, like you've got some friends that you do certain activities with. But holidays are usually, I feel like, a real test of friendship. I can't imagine what it's like to be in a relationship that must be a whole different vibe because i've heard people nowadays again we live in a weird world but i've heard people nowadays legitimately legitimately going on holiday with people that they've met on tinder and stuff like taking people out on t on you know on people that they've met on flipping dating apps and taking them on holiday which is to me mind-blowing like why you do that some of you don't know it's crazy but it's already you know because you know how bad it gets when you go with your actual friend that you know and you realize oh shit there's things i didn't know about your personality that i'm now getting to see in hd out here in holiday that's turning me off to be your friend going forward and that could be quite sad and quite heartbreaking to take but you know it happens quite often but why i want to mention this story is that for whatever reason i think the kind of again the genders and connections are really interesting people to look at as a family because of their ability to kind of dictate the narrative out there and to kind of you know push away or dissuade or really you know um have some influence on the fact that some people don't talk about this bit of the conversation enough about their lack or for me again looking from a pinata point of view not being a boozy fan but what looks at what appears to be their inability to hold down marriages relationships husbands whatever it may be there's a real lack of it within this family for whatever reason they all seem to be you know biased you know i'm sure for their own choice single mothers um kind of balancing things and you know kind of being a girl boss sort of vibe but they will have a real inability to really hold down marriages and men in general and it's really funny to see that despite everything that they have despite them each being you know multi-millionaires a couple of them probably being close to billionaire status you know opportunities and brandings and marketing deals coming out of the wazoo endless amounts um privilege and luxury and riches beyond compare but for whatever reason they don't seem to be able to make men decide hey these this you're for me i'm for you forever we're gonna hold it down there it goes out there guys are always looking across the aisle and looking over somebody else and you think if you're with a general you're with a collection really is there anybody else especially if you like that kind of personality you like that person you like living in that sort of world who else would you want to go with apart from that kind of person because they should be the final boss that you want to achieve but for every reason i'm assuming personality wise or maybe just life-wise something happens in between that kind of just turns guys off or that you know as you maybe you'd heard out there there's a kardashian curse where you know you kind of go google mag you know you kind of go google maga <laughs> if you're kanye but you just go a bit crazy when you're with them but there's definitely something about that but i also am intrigued of the lack of conversation around it you don't really hear people mention it too often about the string of relationships that they had the string of failed marriages that they've had and it just keeps going on and on on and on and it's pretty crazy to see considering that they are all kind of quote-unquote self-made and they have all the money in the world and stuff that no man is willing to kind of put up with it for the longest time which is really really funny oh go away here i don't want to leave me alone can i just oh, is it gonna make oh my gosh can i this is annoying i hate these sites i hate these sites we've got the t unlock for exclusive content i do not want to unlock or is this kind of is this a paywall is that why they're making me do this maybe it's a paywall let's see if there's a paywall um are they gonna make me unlock it anyway so it's over here there we go let me just pause, just pause it there let's see hopefully it doesn't unlock it and it says yeah, yeah it's over again so let's go for the other this is the article it says, it's over again kind and travis scott split oh my god no leave me alone Right, cool so it's over again Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott split after rekindling their romance in February 2020 a source exclusively tells Us Weekly it says Kylie and Travis are off again they were supposed to spend the holidays together but she went to Aspen to be with her family and friends up there this has been, happened so many times before they're known to be on and off again but always remain close friends and great camp co-parents news that the duo called it quits comes after Jenner 25 took to uh, took her and Scott's four year old daughter Stormy on a New Year's Eve getaway to Aspen with her friends Hayley Bieber and Justin Bieber and Stace and Stas 
Darcy, whatever her name is. Um, the Kite Community founder shared a clip of herself and her little one sledding on a via TikTok on Sunday the 1st of the video and a California native can be heard saying, we're on a serious adventure right now. Before going her separate ways, Jenna supported the rapper Faye One during his December 2020 performance in Miami, along with 50 Cent and Wayne and Cynthia Bosch um, gathering. At the time, the collection star packed on the PDA with Travis Scott before they took the stage. The non off again couple welcomed their first child secretly in February 2018. The twosome publicly, the twosome, what? Publicly confirmed that the romance less than a year prior, just a few years after Jenna and her ex Tiger called quits for good. After two years together, us confirmed that the reality star, our sicker mode performer, were taking their first official break but would remain friends so they could amicably co parent. I don't know. What is it about them that guys don't seem to just hang around? Again, maybe it's just their choice and they decide, hey, we're done with you. Once they kind of, you know, need the babies that they need. Once they get the clout that they need, they just kind of bend the guys. But I don't understand. I really don't understand what kind of causes guys to go out of their way to kind of pull away from these people and not want to be associated with them in any way, shape or form. I wonder what it is. I wonder. But for a reason, no one talks about it. No one cares. We keep blaming the men for all these type of things. I guess it is what it is. 